Hi, I'm Heidi Joubert uh, and I'm the international demo artist for the new EC Cajon, uh, EC10 Cajon by Roland. Welcome to the NAM 2016 with Craft Music. So obviously you guys have seen, it's got some electronically layered sounds, it's got some electronic sounds, something that we've not seen yet on the Cajon, but something that a lot of people have actually been waiting for. We, um, so let's take it to the beginning. I just showed you guys a very short demonstration piece of what you can do with this Cajon, changing to different sounds. I started with just the pure acoustic sound, okay? So I was playing a little bit of a flamenco groove for you guys. So on top of it being an electric cajon, it's actually still an acoustic cajon as well. So you're getting two and one here. So I can switch off the actual electric sounds and just play acoustic cajon and it sounds really good. All right, so you guys can see that this is just the ac acoustic sound of the cajon. It sounds really good. And then I can switch it on, and I can get electronic sounds, which are triggered with two triggers on our front plate over here. We've got our, what we call the head sound, or the bass sound, the way I would explain it best. That trigger is down here. Very comfortable, the most natural place, obviously, to play the bass. And... We've got a how tr I ha our higher trigger, which is called the edge sound, up on the top. All right, and then we can move from one sound to the other very easily. Now, just to explain to you guys, how many sounds does it have? It's got 30 sounds on top of the fact that it's an acoustic, purely acoustic sound. So you've got 30 different sounds, more than just a normal cajon, which is fantastic. Okay, and we can move from one side to the other very easily with this little um, button over here, all right? Cool. Uh, I will explain a bit about the sounds a little bit more. So we have three different sections for the sounds. The first section, each, each section contains 10 sounds. So the first section has a lot of different cajon sounds as well as some drum kit sounds, all right? So I'm gonna take you guys there. That is like, Cross. Sounds really good. So that's like your cross stick sound of the drum kit right over there. Then we've got one of the sounds that I used first when I just did my demo. All right, so each sound contains two different sounds. Obviously, we've got our bass sound and our high sounds. Some of them actually contains three sounds, which is really cool. So depending on the velocity at which you hit, you can get a different tone out from the top. So for instance, which is really cool. Dynamics plays a role in this, obviously. So it's not like you're just getting one straight tone out, which is fantastic. So you can really like do your rolls and it sounds real time, okay? really hot in here. All right, second section of sounds is our percussive sounds, all right? So that's really perfect for somebody who likes to do world music, uh, a lot of different kind of jazz music, different sounds. My favorite is the darbuka sound. I think it sounds really good. Again, the darbuka sounds has three sounds. We've got our bass sound, we've got our normal mid-high sound, and then slap, tuck, tuck. okay? So that's like the typical kind of sound we get from a darbuka. All right, um, then we have the one where I did the samba on. We've got a lot of sounds, okay? So I can't really take you guys through all of them, but just a few of my favorite ones. Number two is pretty cool. We've got little bells going on here. And then again, we've got a velocity slap with an open bell sound, so that's pretty cool. 
and you can see that it's kind of the sound is going over it while I'm still triggering the other sound. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't just step like end dead, right? See? Even though that's just continuing, I'm still getting the sounds from the next hits, which is pretty cool. Very, very, very cool. All right. Kind of a djembe sound. Again, I've got the velocity uh, attack, so three sounds on this as well. So a lot of them contains three sounds. All right, cool. The other thing I really want to mention as well, okay, wait, I'm going to take you through the sounds first, then I'm going to go on to the next thing, all right? So our last group of sounds is our SFX sounds. Okay, so this is our electronic sounds. It's really exciting. <laughs> really powerful, really, really cool, really nice for the dance scene, for the club scene, for the electric scene. Electronic, sorry, electric. This is a really typical kind of 80s sound. A lot of fun. And I can just move from one side to the other. Power over there, I love this thing. Um, okay, and then included in the SFX sounds, there's another really cool sound I like, which is our Rudu. And timbales. Again, it's got three sounds. We've got a normal sound, and then a higher sound, which is our slap sound. That's when we use a lot more energy to slap and the bass sound, all right? So that's I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the techniques that we can do on this instrument, which is really cool. Because it's triggers, we can actually trigger the powerful sound just with a single stroke. So for instance, we can use brushes. A lot of cajon players are using brushes at some stages. So I'm still getting a really good sound out of it. Okay. We can use our foot, which is another technique that cajon players like to use. So I can have a shaker on my left hand. This is what I'm doing. I'm just flicking my finger. Check the sound I'm getting out. And the same for up here. You can also just play with our fingers, do a finger roll cupped hand, normal flat hand, normal cajon technique. And then on top of it, we've got the triggering happening on the top, which I find really cool. Because for instance, if you're a drummer or something and you use this at some point of your, of your set uh, and you've got it on the side, you can always play the top with sticks or with your hands or whatever, and you can get extra sounds out of it too, which is really cool. 